Hello guys and welcome back. We are busy with accounting, so accounting. Today we're going to talk about depreciation and this is all preparation for the exams on the 22nd. The reason why I want to do depreciation is because there's a lot of calculations involved, not a lot of accounting and you can kind of score easy marks in the test. Now what is depreciation? Okay, what it means is if you have an asset for example, a car. When you buy the car, the car is worth 100% of its value. Okay, But after a year, so if we take this timeline, after a year, the value of that car goes down. And somewhere in your books, you have to account for that wear and tear. Now, that wear and tear of the car, so let's say we bought the car here for 400 400k. Let's say it, it's only worth 300k here if you had to sell it. Here only worth 200k, here only worth 100k, and here it goes on to a zero. Now, because the car was worth 400 when you bought it, let's say it's an exact one year time period, it was worth 400. Over there, it's only worth 300. So there's a hundred thousand rand. 100,000k difference, and that is an expense, which is wear and tear of the car. I think I'm falling off the screen. Let's go this way. So it, what I'm saying is that the value of the car goes down. So it's almost like um, a glass of water where in year one, the car is worth the total amount there at the top, 400. But then as time passes, the value of the car goes down. And as it becomes less and less and less and less and less, I mean, think of an old Skadunk car, that car would be over here. Now, each year in accounting, we write down that expense, that wear and tear expense, as depreciation. Now, there's two ways we can work out depreciation, and they will tell you exactly which one they are using. It will either be the straight line method or it will be a percentage method. Okay, so depreciation will always be the straight line or the percentage. What's very important to note about depreciation is it counts over months. So you've got to do a pro rata for the months. And the calculations are tricky only because there's a lot of different dates. But it becomes so much easier if you just draw yourself a long timeline and just write down all the dates they give you on the timeline it makes it easier so let's say you bought a car over here for a hundred thousand rand and now two years have passed so this will all be in the question so you bought a car for a hundred cost price of a hundred thousand you had the car for two years you are now selling the car for sixty thousand And then you have to work out what the depreciation was. If they give you, let's say, a percentage, and let's say that percentage was 20, but they will give it to you. The math calculation works as follows. We start with 100,000 Rand times 20% for the first year, and that will give us 20,000, which means in the first year, that was the depreciation. The value of the car is now only... 80,000. Okay, value. value. Then it's 20% of that value. So instead of doing that was year one. Now it is 20% of this one. So that's 8 net. So that's 16,000. So in the second year, your depreciation will be 16,000. So right over here, over, after two years, so that's year one. And that's year two. Here, the value of the car would have been 80 minus 16, so it's 64,000. Okay, so now that was the selling price. Okay, the value of the car was 64,000. So we made a 4,000 Rand profit when we sold the car. 
Okay, so all we did is we worked out the percentages based on the value, not the original amount, the values as they continue. If it happened in the middle of the year, so let's take the same example. And we said the car's cost price was 100,000. And two years have passed, the depreciation was that 20 and 16, so let's say it's 36,000. Okay. And six months into the next year, so there's year one, year two, and now they give us the financial year over here, and they say you sold the car six months in. They won't say six months in, they'll say like 31 June, you have to go work out the months. Okay. Now six months in, what is that depreciation? So we're still working on the percentage one. We have to get the value first, then we work it out. So at the beginning of this year, the value of the car was the cost price minus the current depreciation, which will give us 64, I think. Okay, 100 minus 30 is 70, minus 6 is 64. So that's the value at the beginning of the year. Beginning, beginning, beginning. That's very important. 20% of that is that times 20% equals 12,800. But that was for 12 months. Okay, 12 months. We sold it six months in. Six months. So we only want six months depreciation, which is basically you divide it by 12 to get each month. And then you times it by the amount of months. Okay, so divided by 12, you'll have the depreciation per month, and then times it again for the amount of months there were. So that's 6,400. Now, the value when you sold the car over here would be the 100,000 minus 36, which gives us 64, minus the depreciation that happened for the first six months until you sold the car. Okay, so it goes into 50-something, 50 59 or whatever. So that's depreciation with the percentage. I'm going to do a next video where I'm going to use the example in the tut letter. Just covering the basics because there's lots of info. This is the percentage one. Now I'm going to look at the straight line one. Okay, the straight line method is super easy. They give you an amount of years where this car's value or any asset that they give you, starts off on 100%, which is always the price you paid for it, so cost price that you paid, and it goes to 0%. Don't let the percentages confuse you. I know there's a percentage there. Let's like make it 100 points. And there it's worth a zero points. And then they'll say, how over how many years on the straight line method do you write it off? So let's say they gave you five years. So one, two, three, four, five. All they're saying is when you get there, it must be zero. So if your car started off on 100, it must be zero there and it's straight line. So if it's 100 over five years, you purely say divide it by five equals 20,000 per year. So it'll be 20. So year it'll be worth 80, 60, 40, 20, zero. So each year your depreciation would be 20,000 and if they split the year up, so if they sell the car six months in or let's say eight, month, eight months in, then you just pro rata it to get the value. So if it's eight months, it would be 20,000 for the year divided by 12, so you get the per month cost of the depreciation times how many months they gave you. Let's make it eight. And that is how you calculate the two different methods. Okay. This is, you need to know the different steps in how to calculate it so that eventually we can do the general ledger. Now, to work with the general ledger is a whole other ball game, and I'm going to talk to you about that soon. 
But in short, if you can work out all these different calculations, the general ledger becomes extremely easy. So first focus on working out depreciation before you go into where to put what. Just keep in mind that when you buy a car, so there's your vehicle account, when you buy a car, that amount will always be the cost price. The cost price. Then you have the expense that is yearly and that is the depreciation. And then over here, if you sell a car, there will be a realization account. Realization. And here you might make a profit or loss. Depending on the value of the car. Now remember, the value of the car is the cost price minus the depreciation to date of sale equals the value. So if you have the cost price, you work out the depreciation to date of sale, and that gives you the value of the car. And each individual thing we're going to put into the general ledger. Okay, I hope you understand the calculation of depreciation. Um, I'm going to do an example, but first we're going to have to talk about general ledger. Okay, I hope you're following the videos. It takes a while to get through everything, but there's so much time before the exam that I'm trying to explain everything thoroughly so that when the exam comes, it's easy. Okay, have fun. Cheers.